This is my Tesla motor. And this is my Tesla inverter. I removed from the Tesla motor. And this is my processor board I removed from my inverter that I removed from my Tesla motor. My ultimate goal is to be able to drive the Tesla motor. And of course I won't be able to hack into the Tesla electronics and the software. So the idea is to replace the processor board with the open inverter board. So to do this I need to remove the board first. Unfortunately the difficult part is I'll have to unsolder the hole sensors. The one little tiny problem is that these two hole sensors are soldered into the board. And for me to replace this central processing unit I will have to desolder these sensors and solder them into the new board I put in. This board is mounted like this. Two of the high voltage phases coming through these rings and they use Hall effect to measure the current. So you may ask why do we not measuring the third one? It's because as long as we know two we can always calculate the third one. We need to get on with some desoldering in this case. I found that the best way to get rid of protective lacquer would be to heat it up with the soldering iron and actually scrape it off while moving the soldering iron across those three contacts. Having removed the lacquer layer, I started to use lots of flux and sucking device to suck out all the solder from those connectors. Well, looks like I messed up really badly, guys. Unfortunately, I was trying to unsolder these sensors, the current sensors, and each of them has four pins and I broke one pin of each sensor. I think what happened is that those pins are actually connected to the ground pore. It looked like I didn't solder them but when I was trying to remove the board both of them snapped off one by one. Both of those two pins connected to the big ground pore and I think that's contributed to the fact that I couldn't unsolder them properly. So I really don't know what to do to be honest. So these sensors, they are embedded into this plastic holders and covered with a, some sort of a resin. Um, I think my plan is to try to remove them, cut them out and maybe perhaps try to solder the pin into the sensor. So yeah, if anyone has any ideas, I would be really grateful to see what, what could be done, whether they can actually maybe can purchase them separately, not sure. I had a good look at the sensor and I could not see any remnants of the leg remaining on body of the sensor. But I decided to remove it anyway. I used the scalpel to dig it out and see if there's anything left on the legs where I can solder in the metal pin. Unfortunately the pin was broken right at the root of the casing and there was no even visible metal contact available where I could solder something in there. Well, what a day. Where do we go from here? No idea. So I'm at complete loss right now. So the, the loss of these sensors basically brings the whole project into standstill and I don't really know what to do next. I think I will try to finish up open inverter board and look for the sources where I can find these sensors to replace them. But um, apart from that, I will hopefully see you in the next video where I have some better news for you. Thank you and I will see you on the next one.